Do you remember learning about grammar? I think I must have been maybe in grade three or four when I first learned about nouns or adjectives and you know it was all through a workbook that I learned about it. But in Montessori, we learn about grammar in preschool. That's right. When the child is about four to four and a half, we introduce them to the different speech parts. We start with the singular and plural box and I've already shared that video with you. So I'm gonna share that link up here and post it in the comments uh, below, in the description below, so you can watch that video if you haven't already. Um, and today, what I'm going to be showing you is how we teach children about nouns, adjectives, articles, and verbs. Are you surprised? Are you asking, how is this possible? Is there a sharp intake of breath on the other side of the screen? I hope so, because this is really exciting material. It's so interesting, as always, how Dr. Montessori makes such an abstract and sometimes dull topic very exciting, very fun, and very concrete. So come along with me and let's watch this as I teach my niece about the speech parts in Montessori Early Grammar. Enjoy it. Anna, today we are going to play the farm game, all right, with the nouns. Have you been to a farm before? No. Have you heard of a farm? Yes. Do you know what kind of animals they have on farms? Chickens, mm -hmm. dogs, mm -hmm. pigs, mm -hmm. cows. Okay. So this... Roosters. Mm -hmm. This mat is going to be hens. Anna's farm. Hens. This and mat... And uh, horses that have a mane. True. Now this farm is going to be Anna's farm, okay? Let's see. Farm. Okay. Let's see what animals we have on your farm, okay? Do you know what this is? Dog. Where would you like to keep it on your farm? Okay. Do you know what this is? A pig. Where should pig. we keep it? Right. Where should we keep it? Pig. On the farm. And this? Your cat. Where do you want to keep the cat? With the cat. Okay. Where is on the dog? How about this? The quack quack. Where should we keep it? <gasps> Okay, and this? All right, now I have some is noun cards. You know, do you remember what a noun is? A noun is the I name. Know. Tell me. Places, people, mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. animals. animals. Okay. Can you put this noun card at the top of the mat? I have some noun cards that I would like you to read and match to the correct animals, okay? Can you read this? I really can put them Okay, in. but I'd like you to read it out loud for me. Dog. Okay. Cat. Mm -hmm. Pig. Hen. Mm -hmm. Duck. Okay, let's go over our work, okay? Can you read it again? Cat. Duck. And dog now, we are going to be learning about some adjectives. Adjectives are tell us, telling us, words that tell us what does the noun look like. Okay? Now, these That's are our glad. adjectives. Yeah, it does. Can you read it? Glad. Do you see any animal on this farm that might be glad? Glad like that. The hen? Sure, let's put it here. Can you put the card there? Let's read it. Can you Bat. read it? Okay, first, can you read this? Hen glad. Let's read this. Glad. Hen. Okay. Can you read this? Fat. Do you see anything fat? Pig. Okay. Of course the pig. Really? Fat pig. Okay. Can you read this? Big. What's big on this farm? Yeah. Okay. Let's put it like this. And can you read it? Big dog. Who do you think is sad? Because she's looking away like she doesn't know anybody. Oh, can you read? Sad cat. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to switch. You want the cat to be pink? Yes. Yeah. Is it pink? No. 
But that's not pink either. How about this? That's pink. You want to change it? No, I don't. You want to leave it? Okay, so let's read then. Pink cat, sad duck. Glad hen, big dog. Fat cat, okay. fat pig. Fat pig. Now we want to Ooh. add some articles to this, okay? Do you know what this word is? The. Okay, can we put one here? Why? Just try and then we'll read it and you'll see, okay? Because there's so many the. Mm -hmm. Can you put it here? Can I just read then for the word I want? Okay. The big dog. Okay. The pink cat. The fat pig. The sad duck. The glad hen. Okay, let's read over once more, okay? Cat. The. The cat. The. The pink cat. The sad duck, the glad hen, the big dog, the fat pig. Okay, now one more card, okay? We are going to be learning about verbs. Verbs. Now, yeah. verbs are words that tell us what are these nouns doing? They are action words. Can you keep this on the top after the noun card? Read this. Quacks. Who do you think quacks on this farm? Duck. Okay, let's put it here. Quack. Quack, quack. Let's read it, okay? The sad, the quack. Okay, can you read this? Rest. Do you think any, anybody is resting here? Of course, the chicken. Okay, <laughs> let's put it here then. Can you read for me? The glad hen rest. Okay, can you read the next one? Pick. Picks. Can you try again. Let's look at it. What's it? Peck? Pecks. Yeah, pecks. That's right. Pecks pig. The pig? Okay. The Let's... fat pig pecks. Stand. Who's standing here? Dog. Okay, can you The read? big dog stand. Of course, the cat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is silly. Okay, can you read it? The pink cat sits. Okay, let's read everything on our farm today. The pink cat sits. The sad duck quacks. The glad hen rests. The big dog stands. The fat pig pecks. So, today we've built the farm with the nouns, the adjectives, the articles, and the verbs. Anytime you want to take this and build it again, you know where it's kept. Can you help me to tidy up? How amazing was that? Wasn't it so interesting? I mean, it's so simple. Who could have thought teaching parts of speech could be so easy and so much fun? And the objects are simple. They're items that you find animals on a farm. So let me just run you through it again. We, you know, we set up a farm. We introduce the child to the names of the animals. So we make sure that she knows what the animals are. And she's feel, she feels free to build it the way she wants. Then we give her the noun cards and we ask her to match them. Then we give her the adjective cards so that she looks at these and she tries to understand what do they look like? Which adjective can describe this noun correctly. Of course, children will always have a little bit of fun. You saw that she did that when she was describing the cat as pink. It wasn't pink at all, but it's fine. We're not here to, you know, hone down on that. We're, we want them to enjoy the learning process. After they've learned about the adjectives, that they're descriptive words, telling us what the noun looks like, then we can go into the articles. And finally, we add a verb to that so that they can understand what is this noun doing? What is the action that this noun can do? So it's set up step by step, bit by bit. Now you saw it all at one time, but we do not present it this way. Each of these speech parts is introduced on a different day, different weeks in fact, 
After we introduce the nouns, we give her the opportunity to work with the material independently. Once I see as a parent or a teacher that she's able to do this independently, successfully, then, and she's enjoying the process, then I would offer her the adjectives. When I see that is able to happen independently, then I come in with the articles and the same goes for the, for the verbs. Okay, a couple of things I know you're wondering. Why a farm? Okay, why have we chosen farm animals? Can't I do this with something else? Here's the thing. This is the phonetic farm. Our children have not yet learned non-phonetic words. They're still within the pink and the blue series. If you're not sure what the pink and blue series are, we have two videos that explain it completely for you. I'm going to link them above and I will put the link also in the description box. So it's a good idea to watch that first. So the words we can use have to be phonetic. That means on my farm, I cannot have a sheep, I cannot have a cow, I cannot have a horse because those are non-phonetic words. These are the kind of words that I can limit myself to. I could have a pup, I can have ducklings, I can have piglets, I can have sacks, I can have a man, I can have milk cans. So, you know, there I could have a pond if I wanted to. So you can expand it a little more than what I showed you. But remember, the words have to be pink or blue. That goes for your nouns, your verbs, your adjectives. They all have to be pink or blue series words. I cannot have a brown dog because brown is not phonetic. I cannot have, um, you know, uh, a word, a verb that is non-phonetic either. I can have jumps, I can have hops, I can have runs. I cannot have a word like crawls because it's non-phonetic. So you can try and come up with something else apart from uh, farm animals, you know, maybe you can have two dolls and bunk beds and a sink and a blanket, uh, you know, a mat in the room. So be creative, come up with different things. We are happy to see what you come up with. Uh, for the Montessori curriculum, it's pretty much always a farm with farm animals that are phonetic. As an extension, you could give the child strips of paper and they could write down their phrases. The fat dog runs, the big pig sits, they can copy it down, they can build it into a book, they can draw pictures to accompany their sentences. There's a lot that you can expand on and, uh, you know, let them stretch their learning. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about the phonetic farm. Um, we will keep coming back with more activities. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried any of these things out and how they work for you. Is your child enjoying it? I would love to know. And if there's something you'd like to learn about, let me know as well. And I can come back and share Montessori with you. Please do hit the subscription button, like this video, show me some love, and make sure the notification bell is on so you get notified every time we release a new video. I look forward to seeing you again. And until we meet again, have a beautiful day.